Your bag just went airborne, contents all over the front seat. Well, a local mom and her daughters came up with a solution for that. I want you to welcome Tanya Bryant of Necessity Seat Caddy. Hi. Hi, Kent. Good. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, thank you. I'm glad um, to be here. Genius. <laughs> this is one of those deals that are everybody is sitting back right now and immediately going, why didn't I think of that? Right. Where did right. this go? What was the nucleus for this? Well, that's pretty much what we were doing. Uh, we've always been a family that sat around the table and tried to come up with ideas mm -hmm. to solve life's little problems. Mm -hmm. And get and, rich, too. Admit well, it. Come on, you well, want to get rich. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and uh, that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> but uh, so the, so one of my daughters, uh, you know, said to the other, what would you do if you could make, if you come up with anything, what would it be? And she said, I just want something to keep my stuff from falling out of yeah. my seat every day I'm on the way to work mm -hmm. onto the floor mm -hmm. and so I said okay that, that seems, seems easy easy reasonable yeah. let's do it so we did um, this is the necessity seat caddy it's um, made of mesh and uh, um, elastic mm -hmm. it's uh, fully expandable oh, yeah. so you can okay. put lots of things I didn't in there that. yeah it's got a nice uh, big pocket in the bottom it holds anything as small as keys a cell phone, mm -hmm. bag, nothing, anything that's not going to slip through those holes. Nothing that'll slip back. through. Exactly. I've even put pizzas in here. Yeah. You know, so you stack up your pizzas. Sure. Because you know, they they go on the floor. That's Absolutely. really bad. And it, it's elastic and it's bigger on the bottom, so the the pizza box nice would pocket. fit in there. Yes, exactly. I like that. Exactly. Now tell me about the process of coming up with an idea like this and bringing it to to where you've actually got something you can hold in your hand. Well, uh, it's a it's a complicated. Uh, process, but it's not something that everybody couldn't do. Um, I actually had a little extra time on my hands because I was retired. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we were able to actually start developing the prototype in our basement mm -hmm. on my mother's 60-year-old sewing machine. Mm -hmm. um, I created uh, our first our first prototype and our first stock. Mm -hmm. uh, once we sold out of those, we started uh, having them manufactured. And um, that, how does that, that happen then? What do you? How do you oh, find a manufacturer? Is that? Thank goodness for Google. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I just started googling manufacturers mm -hmm. of you know this piece, and um, then after that, uh, you know, it, it takes a little while, you know, for things to sort through. And I made some phone calls mm -hmm. and find out who could and couldn't do what we needed to do. Um, found someone who could, and that's awesome. You know, and here we are. And here we are. Dream come it's, true. I mean, know, that's that's great. And when you come up with something, and now you know the process. Right. Who knows? Exactly. Who knows? And last month was uh, Distracted Driving Awareness Month. So um, you know, distracted driving includes any, anything sure. other than, and in, in addition to texting and talking yeah. on the phone, anything that takes your eyes off the road mm -hmm. or your hand off right. the wheel to stop it from falling. Well, tell people know? where they can get this because yeah. that's what everybody's going to want to know. Absolutely. It's at it's a netcessity.com. Oh, okay. So we can get it online. Online. It's a netcessity.com. Right? right. Exactly. Best of luck to you and your lovely daughters who are Thank in tow you. today, right? Anna and That's Sarah. Awesome. Thank awesome. you. Yes.